I don't think that you should sort emotions into positive and negative ones. I think that you should look uh, whether your emotions are helpful or unhelpful. And you should have the most appropriate and helpful emotions that you can have, not the most positive emotions that you can have. The purpose of life is not to uh, be happy in a, in a sense that you should be in a state of constant bliss. You should be able to achieve the things that matter to you. And uh, the emotions help you for that. So, uh, but see, you should check whether uh, your emotions, for instance, express ruminations, which means you might be caught in a loop that is unproductive and you're just veering a groove in your mind uh, rather than making progress. You should see whether you are suffering, which is usually the result of you trying to change something that you cannot actually control, at least not in the way that you're currently trying it. Right. So th this is what you should be monitoring. You should monitor the trajectory of your emotions and see whether they are still helpful. But they are your tools and uh, just uh, turning your tools into uh, something that only gives you one sight is not helpful. So how do you control your tools to make them helpful? It seems like I you do this. Or do you struggle with this? Oh, I struggle with this. I'm probably not the best person to ask. Well, I, uh, here's, here's one of the reasons why I ask. When I see you, you're extremely positive. And most cognitive scientists that I talk to, they're neutral. Neutral to positive. And you're almost always happy it seems like you're in you're not perturbed you're not easily perturbed you're you're equable uh no i think it's a useful state for communication and a lot of people that have to maintain an academic position find it extremely useful to uh, look like a professor right it's a culture you have to um, maintain a certain gravitas if you uh, come across as a a, a friendly person uh, or as a humorous person uh, that might limit your impact in, with certain audiences, right? Are you really the person that deserves this funding if you uh, are might goofy be, in some way? Right? Yeah. So, uh, of course, I don't want to be goofy, but I also don't want to scare you. And uh, I want us to uh, have a straightforward, uh, friendly um, and maybe even loving conversation. So I, I'm trying to open myself to you and I try to build a personal relationship and I find that uh, k kindness and friendliness and humor are useful tools for that. I also find that uh, humor is often a useful tool to deal with your own suffering and kindness and friendliness. So instead of basically using gruffness to uh, enter your suffering, that is uh, typically something that pushes you out of the area which you would need to deal with. And humor is sometimes uh, a tool that allows you to make an area of your mind that you have to explore because you need to repair it more bearable.